Ready? Ready. All right, let's go. So we're standing at the uh, largest Russian gaming expo at the moment. What makes it so important and uh, interesting for Plutonics about this region? Russian, Russia is a very important region. Um, we're just launching a new product. So we've been at Gamescom in Germany, then PAX Prime, Seattle. Uh, Paris Games Week is gonna be in the next few days. Uh, Eurogamer in the UK, so why not Russia? Of course Russia. Uh, different kind of gaming culture, uh, different kind of attitude, but massive importance of gaming in that country. So Plantronic is there as well. Yeah, please uh, define different. What do you mean exactly? What's different about this, this region? Uh, well, you know, it's, I mean, gaming events, you know, you, you don't have like all of those land parties all over the territory like we can see in different other regions. Um, you know, we, you don't have, I mean, Russia doesn't really use those Facebook accounts, you know, Twitter, so they're really meeting here and we have to be here, we have to showcase our product, we have to be with all the major titles, which are a bit different from the other region. You know, Wargaming is very important here. Uh, some of the games that are maybe not the same in, the, in, in other countries, so uh, important for a headset maker really to, to be there as well with those guys. So Plantronics is making uh, products for all kinds of consumers. Yep. You make uh, products for general audience, for for audio fans, mm -hmm. and for gaming. Yep. How is that audience, gaming audience, uh, different from the other consumers? Right. What challenges do you face when making products for that particular community? It's a real community, I would say. Uh, so it's very, it's a global community because even if you have to act locally, like here, uh, you mean at, at, at Moscow, at Igromir, that's also a global community. They're following mega streams, you know, from all over the planet. And really, I mean, we want to, we, we want to reach these guys. Uh, and it's, I would say, the bit, it's a bit more easy to reach them that because they're a real community. I mean, they share the same passion. Uh, they're all digitally connected. Uh, they're for sure fully into gaming, but you know, TV is maybe not that important for them. Maybe they're more interested into having, well, you know, a laptop and a smartphone and a tablet, and that's it. They can make it. That's their own world, and that's really where we are supporting uh, those guys. All right. So for a very long time, audiophiles were the uh, the, the driving force of that all headphones hardware industry yep uh, it was important how the music mm -hmm. sounded mm -hmm. in them so is it fair to say that 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 gamers are now the uh the driving force that that puts you on that edge of the progress in your in your development is it, is it right to say that uh, well i mean absolutely i mean you cannot um you have to provide them with the best products it's not a headset that they are wearing, it's a weapon. So if you want to win, you have to have the best weapon. Uh, we've been in the headset markets for 50 years. We're a pretty whole company. But the thing is that we've been on the moon, man. Uh, you know, this little story, uh, Neil Armstrong, you know, bringing those world, uh, small step for man, gently for mankind. That was where Plantronics headsets. You know, we are also, taking our headset into the emergency services, you know, so we're saving lives with our headset. So we also want to save lives in gaming. And those guys, the good thing is that, you know, they don't go gray, it's just white or black. So if you don't provide them with the good stuff, you know, you will just be out of the game. And I think that, you know, we've been doing microphone for 50 years, we're delivering the best microphone on these markets. Comfort is important as well, design is important, so really trying to put that all together now. Right. And what are the most requested and needed features for gamers? What, what do they want from your products? Well, I'm myself a gamer, and I would tell you that I want comfort, uh, I want design, I want fantastic sound quality, and why not if I could have a headset during my gaming, but why not, you know, the same headset to be used with my smartphone when I'm on the go, or, you know, so that's why we're trying to deliver with that, with that new headset that we're just launching. Okay, cool. Uh, 
could you just uh, describe where where this whole audio industry is going to? Like, what is the you know what is the global plan? What's the roadmap for this industry? Is there anything left for innovation and challenge? Like in the other in the other industries, you can see here like new consoles are launching, yep. right? There are new controllers, yep. new types of you know interfaces. Yep. What what, what is there? What is there for, for your part of that? Okay, that so if you're asking me to, uh, to give you details on my five years roadmap, no chance. I won't do that today, but I can tell you that there are a lot of room for improvements. Um, what if you would wear a headset and maybe by turning your head right or left, something would happen over the screen? What if you would take a headset out of your head and then it would suddenly just pose the game without touching a button, so all these, you know, um, uh, kind of stuff that would happen naturally uh, for a gamer. So that's really somewhere where we are really investigating and we are well positioned at, at Plantronics yeah. to do that. So a lot of improvement possible for sure. Cool. All right. So some of your competitors, they brand themselves as a truly gaming yep. company. It's yep. Like it's the only thing they do and they embrace that. Mm -hmm. You, on the other hand, is a more diversified company. Yep. You, you make everything for every part of the community. Uh, what, what, what are the, uh, the advantages of your model? You, I mean, you're totally right. I mean, uh, some competitors, they have a real gaming, pure gaming DNA. That's fine. The thing is that we're not only talking to those guys that have this pure gaming DNA. Today, gaming, I mean, have a look at those people here. You know, you have sons with fathers, you have gaming enthusiasts, you have hardcore gamers, you have casual gamers. I mean, you know, and you have to deliver product for all of these guys. So maybe none of these guys would like to look as a hardcore gamer, but maybe they would like to use well, like I said, maybe something looking, kind of looking cool headsets. Uh, our DNA is gaming and communication. And really what we want is to, not to do a me too product. I mean, there's already a lot of brands doing that, but we want to bring something different to this market. Honestly, like I said, if you're able to connect to your game and mix that with your real life, for example, being able to connect Xbox plus smartphone, really to connect everything all together, Plantronics will be there to help you. All right, so is it fair to say that you go for a double Helix DNA instead of just one? Well, you know, mm, that's maybe the right definition. Yeah, I think that's, a yeah, that's the right definition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, um, so let's now switch to the eSports and talk a bit about it. Yep. And uh, the rise of that movement is, you know, it's all over the place, all mm -hmm. over the media, all over the traditional media, everybody's sure. discussing it. And uh, what's your personal take on that, on the, on the whole esports scene? How actually big is that in your eyes? Like, is it overhyped maybe? Maybe it's understated? What's your opinion on that? So it's a, it's a proper phenomenon. Uh, I think that it's, it really mirrors what sports uh, has been during the last few decades. So it's a spectacle. Uh, last week we were at the Staple Centers in Los Angeles being the official headset of the League of Legends LCS. You know, the Staple Centers, three days sold out. It's it, it just like an NBA match, you know, so it's, it's, it's a real spectacle. It's coverage. Streaming is massive, you know, it's very important. Champions, I mean, here you have people asking to take pictures with the champion. I mean, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, you know, Ronaldo, that's the same phenomena with the stars here. Everything, you know, you have bars to watch football match, but now you have the Backcraft bar where you can see a League of Legends tournament while drinking something. So it's a kind of same phenomena. We've been there since now six to seven years, being the official headset of the Electronic Sport World Cup, uh, being now the official headset of the LCS uh, Season 3, so really important. Rockskiss, that's our local team here, the team we're supporting, very proud of that. Okay, cool. So, yeah, you mentioned that Plantronics is one of the companies that directly supports uh, teams. So, what are the most important things that you want to get from teams for, for your finances that you mm -hmm. provide them with, okay. right? So some companies, they want they want champions yep. and trophies. Yep. 
other companies don't really care much about that. They want, you know, they want media statistics, they want stream numbers, yep. and stuff like that. What's, what, what are the key points for you? Okay, so I'll be honest, I want both. Uh, I'm a gamer, so I want to win. Uh, but I'm also owning a category of products and I want to have big coverage uh, with, those, with those teams. The thing is that, I mean, just like in sports, uh, you have to, it's an emotion. So, you know, if you have your team, if your team is using a good product, maybe you would like to identify to that team, just like I'm wearing a Nike or an Adidas because, you know, my champion is, is wearing that. I want to use a Plantronics headset because, well, it looks like, you know, those guys are using a pretty good headset. So, yeah, it's a bit of, it's a bit of all that. Yeah. But it's not about team only. It's also about those leagues, like I said, you know, ESWC, LCS, those kind of big leagues, very important for us as well. All right. And uh, you mentioned uh, the, the, the partnership of Plantronics with NASA yep. uh, from a long time ago. Yep. And it is known that many things that were then applied to the civilian sector were first uh, designed and developed for the military mm -hmm. and for the army. Yep. Uh, could you just, uh, I don't know, maybe bring up some examples from the history or from the present time yep. that, that Plantronics had some products that were developed for for other use, okay. for hostile use maybe, okay. and, and, and that then were applied to that mass market and mass consumer. Okay, well, so I will, I will just throw a, a, an example. Uh, seven years ago, we started a collaboration with ESWC, like I said, the Electronic Sport World Cup. So I was so happy to see during the first three days, all of my products on the competition area with people, you know, playing the competition into the qualifiers and all that. And then Sunday, the big day, journalists, many people screaming, the big stage, and then, sorry, but your products are not good enough to you know, isolate the gamers from the background noise. Look at that, it's a few thousand of people screaming, so you know, they just can't use their, your headset. So I've seen people wearing in-here headsets, plus those you know, kind of work helmets you know, to cancel the noise. I mean, I don't want that. So suddenly, you know, the little light came, and I thought, well, I mean, we're developing headset for helicopter pilots, you know? So actually, I took from the specials division in Plantronics, so those guys are making headset for NASA, for the helicopter pilot, for aviation. I took one of them and asked my engineer to turn this into a gaming headset. So they did a little bit of marketing based on the helicopter headset. So they put some black, some logo, some stuff. Now, the commander, which is a previous helicopter headset, is the headset used here on the big stage where you need to isolate this headset can sell 80% of the background noise. Just like when you are you know, with a big helicopter somewhere around, I mean, you need to be isolated. Same thing here when you're playing any kind of game. So this is a great achievement right, for us. Right. Did you have to remove a lot of, you know, parts for not giving out maybe some secrets, some military secrets? Well, a little bit. Uh, well, the first thing we did is we transformed this into a stereo headset. Basically, the, the special headset was a mono-mono, so sound quality was <coughs> quite bad. We turned this into a Dolby 7.1 headset, which is quite, quite better. But yeah, don't ask me for those kind of details or they will kill me somewhere. Yeah, right. yeah thank you. You know, I, need, I think you need to do some, you know, reverse engineering and, mm -hmm. and give those helicopter pilots some of the gaming sound. Dolby, I think it's, it's cool to be, you know, well, in, a, you know, in a cockpit. If a helicopter pilot can hear someone coming from the background, it would right. be wow. Right. I mean, it's, that's, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's working both ways. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think that's a good point to end this. Yep. Thank you.